Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the Product Specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And today I'm here to tell you all about the 2018 Living Light Quicksilver 8.5 by 28 Toy Hauler. It's a great toy hauler, excellent floor plan. Let's start right outside here. We'll take a look at some of the outside features and then head on in. One of the first things you'll notice is this right here, which is your power tongue jack. This makes it nice and easy to hook up and disconnect from your tow vehicle. Just a simple flip of a switch will raise and lower the tongue. And then you also see you have a light here in case you're hooking up or disconnecting at night. Right behind that, you have two 20 pound propane tanks with the cover. Very easy to get inside. Just undo these two thumb screws. You can lift up the door and that will give you access to both your tanks. Then behind that a little bit further, you see the nice big rails here for your battery. As you will notice, it is plenty large for a couple batteries to sit there. That way, if you are going out boondocking, you can have extra power. Take a look at the frame itself. The frame here is all aluminum. Uh, that's one of the big things about the Quicksilver. They use as little wood as possible, uh, and they try not to use a ton of steel. They try to use as much aluminum and Asdel as they can in a camper, and they do a phenomenal job of it. This is nice and lightweight and still has excellent structural integrity. Coming up the front here, you will notice you have black diamond plating. Uh, that'll help protect your front end from some of the rocks and debris that get thrown up by your tow vehicle. So you come around to the side here, you have this nice, beautiful gray exterior. This one does have the fiberglass exterior on there. And then behind that is an Asdell composite panel. Uh, so I talked about Asdell a little bit earlier. Big advantage of Asdell, one, it's lighter weight, which on a toy hauler is essential. You want to have a, a nice lightweight toy hauler, that way you can pack more in it. The other nice thing about it is it doesn't absorb moisture. A lot of times when you see your fiberglass units, you'll start to see delamination, especially as they age. The number one reason for delamination is because water gets in the sidewall. And behind most manufacturers, behind that fiberglass is Luon. Luon is essentially a, a, a wood, it's gonna be a plywood, and when water gets in there, it, what happens is the fiberglass will actually separate from that wood, and that's when you start to get the bubbles. By having the Asdel composite panel where it doesn't absorb moisture, it will eliminate the majority of your delamination issues. Uh, the last part about the Asdel that I really like is the fact it's a green material. So if you're sensitive to that off-gassing, you have bad allergy problems, you'll be a lot better off in the uh, Quicksilver here than you will a lot of the other toy haulers out there. Right down here, you have an electrical outlet. You know, if you need to plug in a crock pot or cell phone, whatever else you need to plug in outside, that is the place to do it there. You have the diamond plating running all the way along the bottom. Uh, honestly, it's more for looks and aesthetics than anything else, but I do really enjoy it. Getting into the camper is quite simple. You have two foldable steps here. They're aluminum steps. Again, they try to use aluminum in as many places as they can because not only does it look nice, but it also won't rust on you. And again, it's generally lighter weight. Both those steps do have the grip tape on there so you have better control, especially in conjunction with the foldable easy grab handle here. If you take a look up above the door and going all the way back to the end of the camper there, you have the power awning. Just touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go right back in. It does have an adjustable pitch and an LED light strip on there as well. So that way if you want to sit out here at night, you can have light without having to get up there and hang up your Christmas lights. There is one of two vents to vent out your exhaust. The other one is on the off door side. We can see that when we go around. And right next to that is one of your two speakers. The second one is a little bit further back. Both of those are controlled by your multimedia center inside. However, that unit is Bluetooth capable. So what that means for you, so you can be sitting here underneath your awning and you can control that with your smartphone or tablet. The other thing I do want to point out about this floor plan is take a look. Underneath your awning, your main camp space right here, you don't have any vents. That's really crucial when you think about it. You know, so you put your awning out, you don't want a big furnace vent here blowing hot air on you. This makes it nice and comfortable and this is all extremely usable space. You do have the polycarbonate windows on here, which I like, again, helping with uh, weight. It'll save you weight there. Also, you can open this completely up. If you want to be able to reach through and you know, hand a beverage or something through, you can do that. Uh, but it also does have a screen. You can, uh, actually the screen pulls up and then there's a shade inside you can pull down. We'll take a look at that in a little bit when we do go inside. The tires on here, you can see you have a nice aggressive tread. Uh, that helps if you are taking this off-road anywhere. You'll also notice the beautiful aluminum alloy rims. Again, same concept. Your aluminum won't rust out on you, less chance for corrosion, and you have nitrogen-filled tires. If you take a look behind the wheels, if you look at the axles themselves, 
The Quicksilver utilizes a torsion axle system. Uh, that gives you the, the really nice suspension, very similar to your leaf springs. However, the components don't break down nearly as quickly, meaning that the Quicksilver will last longer for you. Coming around to the back here, uh, this is obviously your tailgate, drops down nice and easy. You have the handles on either side, you just lift like so and then you turn them and that will allow you to drop this gate right down. You can see it has the springs all the way along it so it is not just easy to drop down but it is also easier to put back in place. Right over here is the second exhaust port that I had mentioned Then, as we make our way up a little bit further you see that you, this is for your fresh water, this will fill your tanks, that is a gravity fill. So, you know, if you're again out boondocking and you don't have water access, you can take your water jug, put it right in there, and that will fill up your water tank. Right over here you have your cable inlet, this is your solar prep, uh, it's the Furion solar prep, so if you do want solar here, what you'll essentially want to do is buy your portable Furion panels and then just plug them right into there, the Furion panel does have uh, the controller built in. Now granted the sticker they have here does say ZAMP, but don't be confused, this is a Furion system and they are proprietary, so you will certainly want the Furion panels on this coach. Right underneath that you have your 50 amp detachable power cord, that is where that plugs in at. Outside shower here with both hot and cold water access, black tank flush right down below to quickly and easily wash out your black tank, just hook a hose up to that, black tank aspirator is built in and it will wash it out for you. Here is your city water connection, uh, six gallon suburban water heater, and then right over here is a really nice compartment. Uh, this is something really cool that Quicksilver does. So if we take a look in here, if you don't want a generator, this is just an excellent extra storage compartment. You see they put this part down right here so you can fully utilize this. If you do want a generator, great. All you have to do is remove this panel. You can see there's some screws there take that out and then you can put a generator in there that everything is already cut out for it so it's nice and easy to have installed. Welcome to the extremely spacious inside of the Quicksilver 8.5x28. Before we go through all the features I just want to show you exactly how big this garage space is because it is massive. If you have several toys or if you're looking to bring a side by side this is an excellent option. You have 18 foot 8 inches from the back up to your kitchen right here. At the widest point, it'll be eight foot wide. Uh, you'll lose about a foot right through this section, so you have about seven foot there in the middle. But this is an extremely open garage. You'll see right up top here, you have a nice queen bed. Let me go ahead and drop that Happy Jack system down and you can take a look. Right back here is your queen bed. As I mentioned, it's on the Happy Jack system. So when you have your toys in here, it's up at the ceiling. When you're ready uh, for bed at night, you can drop it right down. Now this is as low as it goes, so it is still a little high. Uh, to my knowledge, it doesn't come with a ladder, so I would definitely recommend purchasing one just to make it a little bit easier to hop up in the bunk here. On both sides, you have windows, which allow for some nice airflow. Uh, as you can see, currently I have the shades down. However, if I pull this up, you will see this is a screen. So as I mentioned, you can open that window up all the way and then you have a screen here. You can also disconnect both of them in the center uh, in case you want just an open window there. You'll see the tie downs. You have nine tie downs all the way throughout. You have uh, three rows of three basically. So you can you know, kind of have different orientations based upon what kind of uh, vehicles or toys you are putting in here. On either side, you have some seating. Uh, as you saw earlier, both of these do fold up. The one side here is a jackknife sofa, so this also does drop down into a bed. So, uh, you know, if you have to stop somewhere and, and you know, take a, take a nap or something and you still have your toys in here because you're not at your location, this drops down into a bed. Both of these jackknife together as well. This table here is removable. So you can have one person sleep on either side without having to drop that bed down, which is certainly a nice feature during traveling time. Uh, the table itself is an indoor-outdoor table. You can see it's movable. Uh, it is a, a composite here, a, a plastic essentially. The nice thing about that is you can take it outside. You know, I talked about earlier, if you want to hook up a crock pot or something, you can take this right out, set it in front of your camper, plug in a crock pot, you know, put it on there with a, with a hot pad underneath or whatever, and you're good to go. Um, and as I said, both of these do fold up. Otherwise, they make very comfortable seats and they do fold down into a bed. You also have the window right here, so that way you have an excellent view out to your campsite. 
So you're sitting here eating breakfast, drinking your morning cup of coffee. You can take a look out to your you know, main campsite there, which is what you want. Right underneath here is an LED light, so you have some light at night if you want to sit here and uh, play games, tell stories, you know, whatever you want to do. Uh, you have LED lights throughout the entire RV here as well, which are great. Uh, again, because if you are boondocking, LED lights use a fraction of the power. It's about a tenth of the power to run one LED versus your old style incandescent, so very cool. Up top, uh, the cabinets here are awesome. They have airplane style latches, which are pretty neat. When you open it up, you can see the extra storage in there. And as I mentioned, everything in here, you know, all this, this is all Asdell composite panels. That's how everything in here is, aluminum or Asdell. Right up top, you have some nets, so some extra storage there. Maybe a good place to put like your helmets. You know, the nets are flexible, so they can kind of stick out like this. Uh, good storage space there. Right next to the vent over here is your TV. Nice, large TV. So you can, you know, change the orientation of that, swing it around a little bit. Uh, but, you know, right from the sofa there, it is a great view. The multimedia center right here is hooked up to that. So when we were outside, I talked about this briefly as it is Bluetooth capable. This controls your speakers outside, also your speakers in here, and it is a DVD player. So if you want to watch a movie, pop it in there, you're good to go. The majority of your controls are right down here as far as your lights, power awning, and then this is where your bed lift control is for your happy jack system. Take a quick look across the way. Um, one, right above the sofa there, you have another window as well as uh, similar storage. So you do have the couple of storage areas here. I did forget to mention the one does have an electrical outlet there too. Uh, the reason I bring that up is because if you're sitting here at the table and you need to plug something in, it's kind of a long reach, but it is manageable to plug it in right there. Uh, but over here is the kitchen itself. Yeah, beautiful kitchen, you know, you have, let's start right here. Look at this, solid surface countertops. How often do you get that in a uh, toy hauler travel trailer? You know, not very often. So I really like the fact they have the nice high-end countertops, recessed cooktop, so that way all of this right here is prep space, which is phenomenal. Uh, if you lift up the glass cover, that will reveal your two burner cooktop, and also the glass kind of doubles as a backsplash. You have two full extension ball bearing drawers, so plenty of space to put not just your silverware, but some of your bigger utensils like your knives and spatulas and things in there. Furnace right here in the kitchen, direct vent furnace, it's really all you need. And then if we open this up, you'll see you have some good storage under the countertop there as well. So plenty of room for all of your pots and pans. Over to this side here underneath the sink, again, some more storage so you can fit a small trash can underneath. And then you have room for like your cleaning chemicals and stuff up top. It does go all the way back to the wall there too. So, uh, you know, even though it may not look big, it is actually quite deep. Single bowl undermount stainless steel sink. Uh, you know, it, it is kind of, uh, it is a nice deep sink, so it's usable. I honestly wouldn't have minded seeing a double bowl, but uh, by going with the single, it does give you all this extra prep space over here. You also have the high rise faucet on there. Thermostat, this uh, will control both your AC as well as your heat. And then right up top here is your max air fan control. If you look directly above us, you'll see that max air fan. That's awesome, especially if you wanna, you know, create a great cross breeze in here, open up some windows, turn that guy on. Uh, or if you need to get smells out, if you're cooking bacon, it'll do that too. And that one does have a rain sensor on it as well. If we take a look up above the kitchen here at the top, this is not just a microwave, it is a convection oven. If you noticed, uh, in lieu of an, a standard oven, we went with extra storage down below, so this is kind of a two-in-one. And honestly, a convection oven isn't a bad thing. If you've never used one, they generally cook a little bit quicker than an oven, and they're way easier to clean. Over to the side here, you see you have some good storage there. And then right over here, same thing, nice airplane latches, open that up. That's another door, basically to the same access area or access to the same storage area rather, it's basically a big L shape in there. And then to round out the kitchen right over here is your Dometic fridge freezer combo. Uh, plenty of space in there for all your cold storage. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switch over. And then right up top, you can take a look there, you have some good extra storage there too. It is a little bit higher, so if you're shorter, again, you may need to use a little step stool or something to get up in there. Uh, but either way, it is nice extra storage. In the very front is your bathroom. You'll see right down the corner here is your foot flush lever toilet, plenty of legroom. Right over here is your sink top and vanity, nice stainless steel bowl. Again, solid surface in here. Most manufacturers, especially when it comes to toy haulers, you know, would have put a different countertop, but I like that they kept it through. Uh, just gives it that nice, you know, kind of streamlined, cohesive look.
Right up above there is an electrical outlet for hair dryer, whatever else you need. And then you have some nice storage down below. You'll also see there's a battery disconnect in here. Uh, it's kind of tucked away, a little hidden, but this is really nice. So rather than having to go outside and mess with your battery box, all you have to do is flip this disconnect right here and it will kill all power to the RV. Right across the way is the shower. Uh, one of the things I like about this is you have a lot of space in here. You can see you have a built-in shelf and take a look at the height. Uh, I'm six foot and you can see I have plenty of room up top here, which is really nice. Uh, hand wand makes it nice and easy for showering here too. Then across the way, one of my favorite parts, one, you have a window in here for some light, uh, you know, some natural light in here, of course, LED lights throughout, but because you don't have any really closed storage in the back, they give you this awesome wardrobe right here. You'll see the hanging rock, uh, hanging rack rather going across the top. So you do have plenty of hanging storage. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2018 Living Light Quicksilver 8.5 by 28. If you're interested in this RV and you'd like price and availability, I recommend you give us a call here at American RV, or you can take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.